major religions such as Buddhism, Christianity, and Islam emerge. These religions are important to the development of the idea of human rights because they require humans to treat each other with respect and help provide for each other's needs as a basis for a good community. Democracy is created in ancient Greece. Male citizens are allowed to participate. King John signs the Magna Carta. It gives free men the right to be judged by their peers and says that even the king is not above the law. A group of African men are brought to the United States to be slaves. This is often considered the beginning of slavery in the United States. The United States Bill of Rights protects freedom of speech, religion, and peaceful gatherings. In France, the National Assembly passes the Declaration of the Rights of Man. It says that men are born free and remain free and equal in rights. Residential schools are created for Aboriginal and Métis children in Canada. Aboriginal families are forced to send their children to these schools. Students are not allowed to speak their Aboriginal language or practice their culture. They do not see their families for 10 months at a time. Many cases of verbal, physical, and sexual abuse took place in these residential schools. The Emancipation Proclamation is issued in the United States. It gives all slaves their freedom. The Treaty of Versailles ends World War I. It requires Kaiser Wilhelm II to be placed on trial. He escapes, but for the first time in history, nations seriously consider punishing heads of state for human rights violations. Women in Canada gain the right to vote in federal elections. The Nazi Party in Germany, led by Adolf Hitler, carries out mass killings of over 6 million Jews, homosexuals, Roma Gypsies, Catholics, Jehovah's Witnesses, and political opponents of the Holocaust. During World War II, Japanese Canadians and Japanese Americans have their property taken away and are held in internment camps. World War II ends and the United Nations is created to save future generations from the scourge of war. UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund, was created. Its original purpose was to help meet the needs of children after World War II. In 1953, it became a permanent part of the United Nations system, and its purpose was extended to help meet the long-term needs of children everywhere. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights was adopted by the General Assembly of the United Nations. The United States Supreme Court rules that racial segregation in public schools is unconstitutional. All Aboriginal peoples in Canada are allowed to vote in the federal elections. Homosexuality is no longer illegal in Canada. The Canadian government passes the Canadian Human Rights Act and sets up the Human Rights Commission. The Canadian government passes the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. The United Nations adopts the Convention on the Rights of the Child. All countries sign it except the United States and Somalia. During the war in the former Yugoslavia, the Serbian forces, led by Slobodan Milosevic, committed genocide against Bosnian Muslims. The war in Rwanda escalates to genocide by the majority Hutu ethnic group against a minority Tutsi group. The federal government of Canada apologizes to the survivors of the residential school system. <laughs>